Hot Wheels to me means outside the ordinary. I'm not about ordinary. Is that a glitter gold Barris Corvette? I mean, there's so many great cars, kind of hard yeah. to choose. Yeah. I think a couple of us like the jet car over there. I saw a lot of kids getting into that. And, that's and I always great. say, yeah, 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 the Hot Wheels yeah. dream starts yeah. with the kids yeah. at an yeah. early age. Yeah. Well, I think that's what's great about Hot Wheels. And more importantly, the people that are here is they're all authentic fans of the brand, yeah. right? Yeah, the and have a love for the automobile. So I want to say a big thanks to Hot Wheels. And also, most importantly, a big thanks to all you people that came out today because without you people there would be no hot wheels so thanks a lot let's keep on rocking we had a lot of uh, tough decisions to make but we chose ours this is a car that was inspired by the bonneville salt flats cars and our winner is the two jets yeah. luis rodriguez congratulations i'm ecstatic right now i can't I, there's no words man <laughs> This is a 2JET-Z, it's my jet car. It's a hand-built, ultra-lightweight vehicle. With me, I kind of like the impossible. Things that don't work kind of tickle my pickle. You know, I just wanted something super futuristic yet retro at the same time, and when I came across this drawing, I was like, you know what, that, that needs to get made. When I was notified that I won, I was just ecstatic. It all started off when I was a kid, and I was always a little bit different. I mean, you can tell by this thing that I kind of like things to be just a little bit on the strange side. You know, if it's, if it's ordinary, it's boring, and I really don't think you should be boring with anything, you know? <laughs> it's technically a chromoly tubular frame car that I went and I quilted a metal frame around and then pounded aluminum until every curve was perfect. So it's kind of a new age hot rod. You wouldn't think metal could shrink and stretch, but it does. The more you hammer it out, the more it kind of starts to, to give way to something nice. First build was a 1990 Nissan 300ZX that I put a 2JZ in. And that's where I got real familiar with the super engines. I put that in there and made about 967 horses. And it was, it was lots of fun. It was scary, but it was, it was a good learning curve. And you know, that being my first car, I can't really see myself to break myself away from that. Every time I, I think of uh, Top Gun, I, I, I think of how can I make this car more like a jet. So what I did was I designed a, a switch there. It's a very simple switch. All it does is sends a ground that tells the ECU to turn the boost up. So the car's set at 525 for daily drivability. And when I take it to the track, I'll flip that switch and it bumps it up to the 627. The muffler is driven by the gas pedal. There's a drive cable that's driven all the way to the back, attached to a flange that opens up the vegetable steamer. And when I hit the gas, it'll open and close and it'll adjust the tone and the pitch of the exhaust and the flow as well. And I gotta say, it looks fantastic when the fire is shooting through that thing. Hot Wheels to me means a toy that is outside the ordinary. And I'm not about ordinary, because I think ordinary is boring. You know, Hot Wheels shows creativity, shows what a car can truly be. I mean, it's, it's art, you know? Those cars are designed by artists and brought to life. I'm glad I made it this far. I'm surprised I made it this far. And I know there's gonna be some stiff competition. Do I think I'm gonna win? You know what, who knows? I'm just looking forward to seeing what's out there.